So we all know in Excel if you want to do uh, a reference, an absolute reference, I can hit equals, I'm going to hit A3 over here. Now, in, ex in uh, the one for Windows, you hit the F4 key if you want to cycle through absolute references versus uh, the relative references. However, you can't really do that on the Mac, and I always end up having to look this up. And in fact, a lot of Mac people I know who are using Excel, some of them, I shouldn't say a lot, the ones who I teach, many of the Windows users will know the F4 keystroke, but many of the Mac users don't. I don't know how, how it's missed, so I'm going to solve that problem for you. So you see I'm hitting A, A equals 3. I'm going to hold Command now. That's the weird-looking symbol that says Command on it, and I'm going to hit T, and that does the same thing as F4, so I'm going to cycle through that. You see that right there. Now, this may be an easy uh, tip to you, but a lot of Mac users, I think, are a little troubled when you have the F1 keys, and on my Mac, I'm looking right now, they're all uh, lighting up, lighting down. So, in Excel, for Mac, the way you can cycle through references, I'm going to just do it again. I'll type in B1 here. You can hold Command T, and that's how you do it. Wow. Yeah. Very easy stuff, but something that I'm still learning. Was that Command T you said, Jordan? Yep, Command T. Man, you're thinking like I'm just thinking I want to create a table when you say that. Right, and it's and that's I, I when I first heard it, I thought Command T. I'm like that's a table, um, but then I looked it up on ExcelJet, all, another friend of the show um, who has all those keyboard shortcuts. Two hundred twenty-two. Command T. That's right, and so I've committed that to memory. I will never forget that now. Command T. It's like F4. But, yeah. different. Completely, but different. Completely different. <laughs> doesn't, even, doesn't, even, doesn't even rhyme. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, I can't help that. I didn't set the command.